Hi, my name is Patrick Brigger, and I would like to present to you today the book Hard Goals by Mark Murphy. Here it is. And Mark gives us a couple of very interesting pointers on how to achieve our goals. As a matter of fact, a lot of people said their goals, set goals, New Year's resolutions, and they do not achieve them. And it's not because the goals are too difficult, it's because they don't have an emotional connection to, um, to their goals. And it's very dangerous actually to, um, to do that because the m more often you do not achieve your goals, you push them out and you say I'm going to do it later, at the end of the year you're going to feel as a loser. And guess what? You are a loser. So Mark has four very interesting ideas on what you should change and he calls them hard goals. Hard, four letters, H-A-R-D, which stand for heartfelt, animated, required, and difficult. Heartfelt, imagine you're obese, for instance, and you would like to lose weight. And imagine what happens to your kids if you don't change the eating habit in your family. They're also going to be fat and laughed at at school. This will give it a very strong emotional connection to, to your goal. Second, animated. Um, you would like to lose weight, you can either picture that you can't eat what you would like, you're going to be hungry all the time, or you can picture how people will turn their head and look at you and say how beautiful is that person. So that gives it a totally different spin on uh, losing weight. The third point is required. Let's say your goal is to make more money and it's only with more income that your kids will be able to go to college and um, that gives it a whole different importance to achieving that goal. Last but not least, make your goals difficult and you will be surprised on what kind of goals you can achieve uh, that you would have never thought of before. And how can you do now all this to get to, the, to, to be able to um, achieve what you wanted to achieve? Set a milestone, set an end date. Let's say it's a year from now and then define milestones what do I need to get done in six months to achieve my one-year goal? What do I need to get done in three months, in one month, in one week, today? And once you know that, you can start working, concentrating diligently and achieve your goals. And you're going to feel very strong and very good at the, at the end when you're done. So, good luck.